Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J. And we are fixing to head upstairs to talk to the little girl, Stella, her friend, Murphy, and whoever that lady is that I also heard come over the intercom. So let's get this door open up. And let's go see what is going on. Interesting, okay. Okay, so upstairs we go. Is she the one I heard earlier? Oh, I hear more people walking. I don't think so. Uh, ooh. I'm gonna take your whiskey. You owe me. You don't need it. I'm also gonna take your Nuka Cola. I think I'll take that one too. Uh, is any anything up in this room? Mine is. Uh, looks like just a garden up in here. Hi. Hey. And she don't want to talk to me. I'm gonna steal your caps. You guys have got some explaining to do. I want to know why you bloody. Ooh, I'm gonna steal your beer too. I want to know why you guys knocked me out, tied me up, or not really tied me up, but stripped me down of all my bloody clothes and left me. Sword of Eden. I wonder what that is. Sword of Eden. Wow. Sword of Eden. I'm gonna pick that up. I want to look at it later. I'm just curious. I'm gonna look at it later. Ooh, I saw somebody else walk by. Ooh, another girl. Hello, what's your name? Salome? Hi. Looking for something new to wear? Um, oh, do you have clothes? You know what? I think I'll talk to you later. I'm good for now. Thanks. Okay. She might have something. She might sell stuff. I don't know what, but she might. She might be a merchant who sells stuff. Okay, um, another bottle of bourbon. Boy, these people like to drink, don't they? Lots of bourbon everywhere. Um, did I check up in here? Excel. I don't know what that is, but I'll take the purified water. Don't know what the Excel is. Take the stem pack and the purified water down from there. Okay. Another door. Just a closet. Going up to the next floor. More bottle caps. Yes, I'm raiding the place. Another room. Fusing core, more purified water. Fusing core, more purified water. Well, hello, Miss Harley. Now's not a good time. Let's chat later. Okay, we will do that. We'll chat later. Ooh, the showers. Okay, I'm in the showers. Interesting. Okay, uh. Let's see. Did I open this door up here? More. Ooh, another stem pack. I'll definitely take that. More bottle caps. I'll take those. More bottle caps and some more ammo. I'll definitely take that. <laughs> buff out. Yeah, you can keep the buff out. Big Papa is not a druggy. I don't do drugs. You can keep your buff out. Okay, nothing in there. That was the bathroom I remember now on that one. Ooh, I saw more ammo. I saw some more ammo. There it is. Ten, or not ammo, bottle caps. Ten more rounds of bottle caps. Uh, more stairs up. A few more bottle caps. This looks like a girl, uh, like, that, I wonder if that's Stella's room. The little girl. I wonder if that's her room. Okay, that goes back down. Okay, um, that goes back down. Wow. That goes down, and... 
Okay, this one goes up. Okay, so I guess I'm going up. You were. I'm gonna steer your garden, gnome. Out of paths. Uh, who do we have here? Jersey. Uh, Jersey, I'm gonna steer your bourbon. Hey. Hello, Jersey. You wanna talk? Hi. You need something or someone dead? You've come to the right place. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay. That was it. Okay. I'll keep that in mind because I'm looking for Murphy, but there's a lot of, in, on your bourbon. There's a lot of people up in this joint that I've. Ah, there's Murphy right there. Okay. Before I go talk to Murphy, I'm gonna finish tossing the joint. See what I can get my hands on. Mm. Murphy's gloves. Hey, so this is Murphy's room. Ten more bottle caps. Hey, um, nine more bottle caps. Boy, I'm racking up on the bottle caps. Big Papa's racking up. We have up in here twelve more bottle caps. Ten more bottle caps. Anything in this one? Ten more bottle caps. <laughs> Another terminal. Okay. Uh, ooh, what is this? Nuka Victory. If that's any good. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, more beer? Uh huh. Ooh, some more vodka? Boy, Big Papa's not going to be hurting for any alcohol. I'm getting loaded on the alcohol. We can get liquored up later. <laughs> Okay, and look who it is. Hello, little girl. You have some explaining to do. Hi there. Gosh, this is awkward. Uh-huh. It is. I expect some answers, young lady. And you must be the famous Murphy that she sent me in here to find. So tell me, what's your story? Hey. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? Don't get all mushy on me. I hardly broke a sweat kicking their asses. And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any misunderstanding. We're a shoot first, ask questions later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they weren't a common criminal? Yeah, yeah, we're all friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on. I have some questions first. All right, humor me. What do you want to know? First off, what's the deal with the little scam artist over there? Could you tell me anything about the kid? Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life, until the Institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom Judy after they fled to Quincy in 2285, helped them build a life for themselves there. And then the Quincy Massacre happened. What was the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we can get into that some other time. Let's just say that life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, but from our supposed friends, who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents ended up slaughtered by the gunners, Judy included. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. And that traitor Preston followed us here. I'm telling you, he was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street. And you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat? 
I want That's to one way to keep describing. My mom. And like I explained, you'll get it if you have patience. Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now, wait, hold up. You hear that? I take it they're not too real. They don't like pressing Garvey in them. Come on, give us a break, will ya? Hey Eden, hey you wanna join the fight? We got a fight going on in here, you wanna join? Who in the hell are you? Time to jump into Batman mode. One, two... Cause Batman can do Kung Fu. Oh, I need you to gut. That's one way to take a guy down. Yeah, I like this Batman slow motion mod. Ooh. Wow. Show him how you really feel, Batman. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh. Oh, wow. More. Okay, one. Two. Three. Four, five. Let's go into Super Batman mode. Ooh. Oh. Show them how you feel, Batman. Wow. Just take her head bloody clean off, why don't you? Oh, there's still somebody in here. Oh, that was a doozy. <laughs> that was a doozy. Yeah, I agree. That was a doozy. Okay. It says clean up. So let's go through and clean up all the bodies. Check. Pick up all my loot. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. Mocktail. Okay. Wow. There's bodies laying everywhere. Ooh, a frag grenade, yes. Pick up all the frag grenades I can get. Wow. We made a big old mess. That was fun. And I like using the, um... I like using bats in melee because it shows off the, um... The martial arts, the kick, kicks and the punches better in that third person um, view. So I like that. Hello, Jersey. You're picking up all the supplies. Uh, don't mind me, Jersey. I'm just very fine. Everybody's dead. Are you following me? You're following me, aren't you? Are you wanting to talk? Hello, Eden. I have a mark above your head. Let's, let me talk to Eden. Uh. <clears throat> hey, thanks for your help. Didn't expect help from a stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Looks like it was your lucky day. Looks like it was your lucky day. You can say that again. I guess it could have been a lot worse. Anyway, we appreciate the help. <laughs> I'm happy to help with anything I can. We could sure use some help fixing some of the damage. But we'll make it. We always do. Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Whatever you say. Hey. 
Um, it still has a mark on my head. <clears throat> hey, thanks for your help. Didn't oh. expect help from a stranger. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. If you hadn't been here. Yeah, we've been through all that. Hey, hey, it was. Uh, come on. Hey, it was fun. Hey, it was fun. If that's what you call fun, I'm glad you're on our side. Those guys were tough. What do you know about them? Most of the words that spring to mind ain't the ones I'd say in polite company. I like your hair, Eden. Kind of cool. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. Maybe you're right, but you can't be too careful these days. I think it's worth giving it another chance. We'd be glad to consider you a friend. Okay. Looks like it was your lucky day. You can say that again. I guess it could have been a lot worse. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Not looking to cause any trouble. You weren't afraid the gunners will retaliate? It's gonna get worse. Way worse. Oh, teleport companions to you. They'll attack anyone they think is too weak to defend themselves. There's nothing left they're afraid of. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. More than happy to stick it to the gunners. We need a way to bring the fight to them. I think with some work we can make a go of it. We're gonna try, at least. We could really use your help. Okay, so let's talk later. Look, I'd love to explore this topic further, but later, okay? Well, it sure was nice chatting with you. Okay, now the mark is gone. Oh, uh, okay, let's talk to him because he seems to be following me around. Yes, can I help you? Hey there. <clears throat> um, you seem different. You seem different from most of the people here. Why is that? <clears throat> How did you end up here? <clears throat> Come on, tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? Is he just gonna grunt the whole time? So what are you gonna do now? Okay. Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? Uh oh, I think that made him mad. Have you seen yourself? I don't think it's a hard mistake to make. Why is this such a big deal to you? Hey, no pressure, right? Hey, haven't formed a bond. Oh, I get a perk from him. And he sells hockey masks. Okay. Okay, he's not following me anymore, so that's good. Eden. Eden's over there, so that's good. Okay, so that means I can continue my journey. Um, boy, they made a big old mess. Ooh, that away. I'll pick that up. But they did. They made a mess when they came bars and two years. More ammunition, more frag grenades. Okay. Um, did I miss this room when I came to earlier? May have. I may have. Look at all that. Okay. Well, I may have missed it when I came to earlier, but I didn't miss it that time. I'm still making my way to the top because it says the top to, um... Boy, look at all the blood. Hello, Sloane. Hello, Miss Harley. Again. Okay, here's who I'm looking for. Okay. Papa Murphy. Papa Murphy. <laughs> Papa Murphy Pizza? Excuse me. I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You all right? Yeah, it was a cakewalk. That was interesting. 
It's complicated. What do you know about the Gunners? Gunners are human scum that don't deserve to live. Geez, how do you really feel? No one's really sure where the Gunners started out. But something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. Doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? That's a good question. I guess... I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two Vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the Gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here in Concord? There needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't... <laughs> <laughs> they really don't like the Minutemen, do they? <laughs> Well, I hadn't thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an overt threat. If you build a reputation for being a little crazy... Oh, I'm definitely crazy. ...you are never sure what messing with you will cost. You don't so, want inside my head. To avoid you might not like what you find. Settlers can't instill that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a chain of command where members don't feel too constrained by your influence but still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involve them in a cause, a crusade against a hated enemy, and make them see their survival as tied to the success of the militia as a whole. Of course, it's easier said than done. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. Some became raiders or joined the gunners. Others just disappeared. Quincy was the final blow. And now we're back at square one. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the gunners, the institute, or who knows what other groups are out there, they're too powerful to take on directly. So we've got to use our weaknesses as strengths. If your enemy is big, and you're small, then by extension, you're fast, and they're slow. You're hidden, and they're exposed. So we break our forces into independent cells who can operate elusively and autonomously, fighting only the battles we know we can win, capturing the enemy's weapons and gear along the way. And using those tools against them in the next encounter. That way, the enemy is supplying us, and we grow stronger as they grow weaker. Makes sense, I suppose. What's our next move? The gunners are calculated and cautious. It's gonna take them a while to figure out what just happened, which provides us an opening. The critical elements in any campaign are speed and adaptability, making decisions faster than the enemy can. Striking first, before the Gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. That's likely where the attack came from. The freeway wasn't particularly well guarded to begin with. Probably even less so after the raid. I want you to head over there, 
take out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons so we can fortify our presence here in Concord. Prove to me you can handle that task, and I'll have a larger project for you when you return. And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mark the location on your map. Hey, so it sounds like he's putting me to a test. Put me to a test. He wants me to prove my worth. Prove that I'm worthy to hang with him by doing this little activity, this little quest. There's Miss Harley. Okay, okay. Well, I can do that. Hello, Miss Stella. Don't run off. We still have a little conversation. You owe me some answers, young lady. Oh, did I loot this guy? Yeah, I did. Let this guy. Yeah, okay. So. Um, don't need to go that way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, everybody's looted. Man, what a mess. Okay, well, let's go outside. And let's go see if we can go find this area. You know what? Let me pull up my map and see exactly where it is first before I just go running around like a chicken with my head cut. Oh, I got enemies. I have enemies. That, that guy's come walking right out the door, right into an ambush. Right into a bloody ambush. They was out here waiting on me. Is that everybody? Doing this or not? I hear somebody still talking, but I, can't, I don't see where they're coming from. I can hear them, but I don't see them. But say I'm hidden. Let me bring up my map. Okay, data. Blood on the highway. So there's Raiden's Pond. Steal the gunner's weapon stash on the freeway southeast of Raiden's Pond. Let's see if I can fast travel into Raiden's Pond. Yes, it's going to let me. Good. I do have all the map markers turned on. Every single map marker in the game turned on, so I will be using fast travel. Longtime followers of mine, fans, know that I normally do not like fast travel. I actually despise it for my personal gameplay. I enjoy, this is just me, but I enjoy the, the trek, the actual walk from point A to point B, because you never know what what mess, what crap you're going to get into. What mess, what trap, crap, what enemies you're going to run into on the journey. Most YouTubers do not fast, uh, do not walk. The majority of them fast travel everywhere they go. I, like I said, Oh, I have a mute. Where's he at? I want to test my stalker. Where you at? Where is he? I can't find him in the fog. Oh, 
combat stalker. I like picking up the combat stalker tags. I don't know why. I guess I always pick them up. Minigun I don't care about. Pick up his bottle caps. And his combat stalker tag. I don't care about the minigun. Nothing big is out here. I can hear it. I can't see it. But I can bloody hear it. Shaking the bloody ground. A behemoth. He wasn't a combat stalker. He was just a behemoth. Just somebody in the area. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Okay. So that is taken care of. Now, there's the overpass that I need to get up on. Right there. The question is now, how do I... How do I get up on it successfully? targets I really love this foggy weather um, for those who don't know this the mod that gives me this foggy weather is called misty pines I used to run um, knack NAC I, I ran it for a long time and I really love that weather mod too gives you a lot of control over various different elements However, as of late, I don't run that one. I like Misty Pines because Misty Pine gives me that Far Harbor foggy look. And I really... What's wrong? What the... What the hell? Got a couple more mo a couple more anyways you interrupted my conversation I was talking about misty pines I like misty pines better than um knack I guess I guess like it better Can't get him. How many more of them are going to come running down around that corner? Is that everybody? I think that might be everybody. Okay. I'm still. Nope. It's not everybody. I'm still getting shot at by somebody. <laughs> Bloody turret. There's still somebody shooting at me. Good lord. Bloody more are gonna come out at Big Papa. They really don't like Big Papa. They are angry with me. They don't like Batman. <laughs> they don't like Batman. They are angry with Batman. There's my ammo that I use. They, the bodies just kept a coming. They just kept a coming.
There's my... There's my target. Okay. There's my target that I'm looking for. Gunner stash. Ooh, 50 caps. Acquired the greatest explosion stash. What did it say? I couldn't read fast enough. Acquired the Raiders Explosive Stash on the freeway overlooking Corvega. Well, that will be for our next adventure. See anybody else around the area? Okay, this is Big Papa J. Hoping you're having a good day or night, depending on what it is where you are. In our next adventure, we'll make our way over towards the Corvega plant. And with that being said, I'm Batman, Dark Avenger, and I'm out of here.